he'll he'll point out like, all right, the record is the record's whatever, and it's like, all right, you need to you need to hit some percentage of that. This is what you need to visualize in your mind. He's always kind of mentioning what what the next step is, or you know, what I want the next step to be. The stronger you are mentally, the easier it is at like coming back after a bad day. Sometimes when we miss a weight, like we are usually say one of us, oh, I was thinking about it. Before we even get to the start position, we already kind of having this perspective of it's kind of heavy. You have to believe in yourself and you have to be confident. If you start to think about it too much, it's like the weight probably feels like a thousand times heavier than it already does. We kind of have our doubts about the weight. That's kind of the moment we feel like the beat. Like you could be strong enough to do the weight, but when you think about it and you drop it, then that just means that you didn't have it mentally. You had it physically, but you just didn't have it mentally. The mental capacity to go back and try harder. If you already dealt yourself before a lift, yeah. you're most likely not gonna get it. You have to walk into the gym knowing that it's gonna be like a good day for you. Yesterday I had a PR in Queens. Before I actually made it, I was so scared. I picked it up and I just dropped it. I'm thinking about it too much. Why am I thinking about it? And I don't know why, but I have someone to get me mad. I just put my mind to it and I ended up making it. So I was actually strong enough to do it, but my mind was stopping. So mm -hmm. you have to have your mind to be on the same point as That's your strength. That's step one. That's step one. Get yeah, your yeah. mentally good, and then you already physically good. Get mentally good, you got it.